Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Jack Link's Wild Sticks. I have the mild and the original. This is the Dr. Pepper, which is a new one, and the hot. These were $2.99 each at Circle K. Really big. And yes, they are. So they're really big. Like they're more sticks. They're more calories. <laughs> they're more calories than the um, than the other sticks because these are bigger. And and do you think that's what makes them wild? No. Nah. Wonder what Maybe makes them wild. Um, it's like just mild. Elk. How like, is mild wild? I it's not like they have elk or them then. No, but I don't know what makes them wild other than the size because this is a 300 calorie stick. Yeah, Most of those is. sticks are not that many calories that you get at the checkout yeah. at Walmart. Maybe it's a marketing um, man. So, jacklinks.com. Yeah, but I would like to know what makes it wild. There has to be a reason they thought, we're going to put wild on these things. Who knows? Um, but they're also called extra, extra large. So, where XX, do you... XXL. Oh, yeah. Well, that tells you there are a lot of calories. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this they're out of Wisconsin. It is a 62 gram, 2.2 ounce stick. 300 calories. It says uh, snack stick, casing colored, smoke flavor added. Okay, so uh, this is just the mild. All right, these should be easy to open. Yes, look. I like it when they open like them. That's why I like sticks too. Some of them, they, you have to take the little, they'll tear it like down the middle. I don't like those. The filling is a lot softer than I was expecting. Mm. I like the seasonings in there, though. It's nice. I wish it was a little firmer inside, but... I do, too. I wish... Uh, I'm, I'm a big texture person. Mm -hmm. and it's got pasty. I really don't want squishy, pasty meat. It's meat paste. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I don't want to think about it too much because we have three more of these to try. But maybe the next one will be firmer. I want, uh, I would rather have a firm stick. Yeah, it's firmer. a little drier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. cause it really is very pasty. Like. Yeah. It, um, like the, a pate. <laughs> I've never had pate. Um, but it, it is mild. There isn't anything, um, there isn't any flavor other than meat and a little bit a little of a, sm a smoke maybe yeah. has a little bit of seasoning that like stands really. out and so this is the original and the original is also 300 calories. these are softer than like even deviled ham and stuff well i don't eat that you know that's a little firmer this is more soft than even that that's a little bit better very little bit, nope. a little bit well, we can't harp on the pastiness because I've got it in my mouth. Mm mm. That's firm. A little bit. Mm. I love the flavor yeah, of that. Yeah, that has a lot more seasoning. That's the flavor that I'm looking for. That. The original. I really like that. The mild is literally just a smoky meat stick with maybe a little salt and pepper in it. Right. That one actually has some, some pepper spice. Like it has cracked black pepper or something in there. You know this has chicken? Beef and chicken usually. Beef and pork. Hmm. Uh, mechanically chicken. separated chicken. <laughs> Lovely description. <laughs> That's what it says. I mean, I'm, it's just chicken. Yeah, I don't want to think about it too much. I don't want to think about it. The, I don't, what? Mm -mm. <laughs> just the words mechanically separated Just chicken. the fact that they had to put that on there. That just sounds crazy. very disturbing, like some Saw movie. Um, <laughs> mechanically separated human. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Um, 2% or less of soy protein, isolate, rice bran, corn syrup, dextrose, fructose, refiner's syrup, smoke flavor. This is scary. All the kind of, Yeah, stuff. it's kind of scary sounding. It tastes like cracked pepper, like, like cracked black pepper. I agree. It does. If I had to say what it, yes, you're right. It tastes That's the just biggest that meaty pepper. and a little bit of that smoke. It's not enough smoke mm -hmm. to be like a, it's not too strong. 
Um, but you, it does taste like you've had pepper. Mm -hmm. Now this one is uh, what started this whole review. This is the Dr. Pepper. And um, it says 11 grams of protein. Let me just say, as, as a customer, I would much rather they put all the uh, calories, calories and ingredients on the front like this. I hate the sticks that have it on the back like this. Because it's written in a line, <laughs> in a line and it's very hard to, uh, it's hard to see. And uh, so it's easier for, easier for me as a consumer uh, to have it on the front. Uh, it's just nicer. This is only 290 calories. Dr. Pepper. But I mean, truthfully, if you're eating a meat stick, you're probably not looking at what the calories and contents are. <laughs> I look at the calories of everything. I would think this is going to be like a teriyaki almost, but it's not. I actually taste the Dr. Pepper on there. Which is a little weird. It um, is very soft. Yep. Yeah, you taste the Dr. Pepper though. You do taste the Dr. Pepper. Mm. The thing about it is. Interesting. Is you taste the Dr. Pepper, but then they took out the, it's like they took out the smoked flavor. Uh, and, they took everything out, it's just Dr. Pepper. And the pepper flavor. Mm. So the reason I tried that one third. <coughs> You the, thought it was going to have some seasoning. I thought yeah. it was going to be comparable. I thought, oh, we're going to the next level now. Mm -hmm. We've tried the mild. We've tried the original. Next level is going to be Dr. Pepper with everything that was in the original. No. It's not. They took out every... Uh, it's literally... It's like you've soaked your meat stick in a can of Dr. Yeah, Pepper. Yeah, it's literally... Or you're drinking uh, through a straw or something. <laughs> I, I didn't care for I mean, it. straw. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't care. It's... It's Do they very, make meat straws? That would be disgusting. That would be very disgusting. Um, Somebody should do that on TikTok. Yeah, a meat straw. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's very, it's kind of sweet. Um, mm -hmm. But it really does taste like Dr. Pepper. So if you like, uh, if you really love Dr. Pepper, then you might want to try it because it's it's tastes dead on Dr. Pepper. I like Dr. Pepper fine. It's it's never been my favorite drink, but I do like it fine. Um, I would rather not have that in my meat. Yeah, I'd rather have a seasoning. I'd rather have, yes, than, than, I yes, uh, I want a... Dr. Pepper. I know yes. a lot of people are making like uh, uh, the ribs and stuff like that with Dr. Pepper. Like, See, that would like ruin it for me. That would I, don't want, I don't want sweet, that sweet. No. I like the smoky sweetness you get from barbecue, not like Dr. Right. Pepper stuff. Maybe you can make a barbecue sauce. Yeah, I don't want, yeah, I just don't want it sweet. I want it to have a little bit of that. I liked the pepper and the smoke flavor. Yeah, the kick. I, I like a little bit, yeah, like when I have pepperoni, I like it to have some, uh, a little bit of a kick to it. Not hot or anything, but just, you know, let me know, you know, that it's some it has it. some seasonings in it. Yeah. And that does not have it at all. No, it doesn't. I, I'm surprised it doesn't have any kind of anything this but is they really hot. are i'm just saying they really did get the dr pepper right i wonder what makes it hot um, Probably cayenne or chili powder uh let's see you've got all those fun words that we had before um it really i don't know it really doesn't say what uh it's it has red number three did you know i know I that some color. people are funny about dyes um, I wouldn't have thought that had a dye in it like that. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to see it when it was not dyed. <laughs> what color do you think it is? Gross. I don't want to know. <laughs> that is. Wow. Ooh. That was a slow build. Because at first it's like, that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Wow, is it? It's like making my eyes water. Yeah, it, right at first when you take the bite, it's not bad at all. Um, mm. But now it's Goodness like Christ. it's built up, and wherever that touch going down is where it hurts. Oh, back of my throat. My throat's burning. Mine's like, it must have slid down on one side because it really <laughs> just. It's really just, hot. On one it side. feels like one side has it, but also. Um, 
also in the back of my mouth. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just flames. It's, yeah, it's very, very hot. Yeah. The bad thing is it really doesn't have a great flavor to go along with the heat. It's just hot. No, it's just hot to be hot. Yeah. It tastes like, yeah, just hot meat. Yeah. Um, I, out of these, the original is definitely my, my Oh yeah, favorite. I would, the one I would buy again is Because it does have a smoked flavor, it has a pepper flavor. That hot for me doesn't, it may have a, a little bit of that smoked flavor, yeah. but it's mainly just like a really, really potent hot sauce. Yeah, I would get the original too. And the dark pepper, if you're interested in dark pepper, get it. It's not bad, it just tastes like dark pepper. Yeah, I wouldn't. I personally, would, I personally wouldn't get it. Would but, never get the Dr. Pepper. But they did a good job on it. They did a good job, but it's it's just not. I realize that I don't want that flavor in my meat. I just no. Um, I I just would rather not have it. So you're buying the meat for a reason. You want to taste it. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've had the Dr. Pepper, let us know what you thought. Did you like it? Would you get it again? So uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.